Welcome everyone. So I haven't put a video out in quite a while. It's been well over two months. Uh, we have not gone camping since our last camping trip to the KOA in uh, the Albany area. Uh, and we are not going for another about three weeks uh, here at the end of July. But I thought what I would do is I got a new GoPro for Father's Day from my children and my wife and I thought you know I got to use it I got to figure out how it works and a great opportunity is to give a tour of the trailer uh, we'll kind of go through it give a few specs on it it's not gonna be a long video uh, it's mostly for me so I can figure out how to use this machine uh, but let's take a look okay here we go so what we have here is a Keystone, it's a 2011 Keystone Springdale 189 FLWE. The WE, I found out, stands for Western Edition, because I guess there's an Eastern Edition too. Anyway, the length of it, so it's 2011, so it's 10 years old. We bought it last year. The length of it is just under 24 feet. Uh, the width is 8 foot. Height's about 10 foot 5 with the AC on top. Um, Payload capacity, about 1,800 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, just under 6,000 pound. And the hitch weight uh, on the pickup is going to be 455 pounds. So it's got obviously a fresh water, a gray, and a black tank. Uh, two propane tanks. Um, I don't think I have the... I'll, ha I'll take a look at the capacities on the tanks here in a little bit when we go inside. But uh, dual axle... Um, I don't like single axle trailers because uh, they're more apt to sway on you and such. We put, obviously we did the afterwards, we put the, uh, the, the bike, bike rack. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little trailer, clean little trailer. Um, no real damage to speak of. A couple little things I'll go over, but uh, it's got two batteries. There's the two batteries. Um, nice little single step. Not a big trailer. In fact, this is probably best. It'd be best like a two-person trailer. But uh, we take Sierra with us. Um, the older kids don't really go with us as much. Um, but as you can see, it's got bunks in back. Let's start at the front. So, you know what I was going to do? Let's turn the batteries on so we can turn on some lights. So, it's got, obviously, um, this here to sit neat. It makes into a bed. Um, nice big picture window to look out, to look out on. Uh, pretty good cabinets. Pretty good space up there. It's got, it comes with an AM, FM, CD player, TV. It's got the uh, cabinet there. We have things like games, walkie-talkies for the grandkids, towels and stuff that we just keep in the trailer back here. Got a bunk up here that we don't use uh, except for storage. And this is mostly Amanda's hang-up clothing. And then this is where we sleep. It's a full size. We put a new mattress on it for comfort. Back here is the bathroom. Comes with a full shower, small bath, but it's good for small kids or dogs or whatever. Um, yeah, so nice, good sized bathroom, plenty of leg room. Then over here, we've got, which is really nice, we've, we like that the sink and medicine cabinet are on the outside of the bathroom. So if someone could be out here washing their hands, brushing their teeth, whatever, um, while someone's using the bathroom. Um, pantry. Big, long, wide shelves. And down here is just more storage. Put like shoes and stuff down there. Then I've uh, got a, uh, hang on, let me set you down. Got a good size fridge. Um, freezer up here. Nice and clean. Amanda loves to clean in between trips. Good size fridge. 
gas and electric. We can go either way. Microwave oven, oven. Um, yeah, it's good size. If nothing more than storage. Then we've got three burner stove. We had a knife rack I put up when we got the trailer. Dual sinks. And more storage down there. Um, that's the fuse box. And then this is nice. It comes up like this. So you can put a laptop on there or just for extra extra counter space. And up here, this is a jackknife sofa. It's very comfortable and it makes into a bed. This is generally where Sierra sleeps. Um, emergency exit there. And this here we put up, I put it up when we got the trailer just because I wanted some piece of artwork or something that was maybe we could utilize at the same time. So it's a map of the state of Oregon. And we thought about putting where we've been, but we might do that, but it'd be kind of messy too. It'd be a lot of dots in a lot of places, but we want more dots up here, um, blankets and pillows and things like that. And then over here, the wardrobe for jackets and hats and things. And then down there is where I have some, some tools and things. Um, right now the hitch is in here, obviously I'm not using it. And then of course there's storage underneath both benches. Uh, and then I put this together. I just, it had some paperwork with it, but I, uh, I printed off the internet, uh, the owner, the complete owner's manual. So it's got how to do things, different specs on it. And then it's also got, I also put in this, uh, towing guide for my pickup. Oh, there's the specs there for the trailer. So yeah. But anyway, it's a great little trailer. Like I said, it's about 24 foot long, no slides. Um, nice entertainment. Um, yeah, there's the coffee maker, but we put the coffee maker usually over there in the corner. Um, it's our little coffee station. But yeah, uh, hopefully this video doesn't look too bad. And um, I figured out how to use the GoPro and that's it for the video we're going camping in about three weeks and you'll see more content after that thanks for watching one thing i forgot to show was the storage under here see lots of storage a whole lot of storage is underneath it's underneath the the full-size bed um in fact that's the reason i'm even here today is I forgot my sandals. I wanted to get my sandals um, because it's summertime and they're in the trailer. A lot of times we go through things and forget them in the trailer, so we gotta come back and get them during the summer, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>